So welcome back to the vlog. I started a three day trip today. We just got to our layover. We had two flights today. Um, pretty quick and pretty easy, which I always like. I always shoot for having an uneventful day. <laughs> um, if I've had an uneventful day, then it's been a good day. Um, I have some spaghetti and leftover garlic bread. And then the hotel had a little crew lounge. Gave us cookies, I'm so excited. That's gonna be my dessert. Um, but I wanted to show you guys what this trip looks like for me because I have a long layover tonight and then a sh kind of shorter, like a medium middle layover tomorrow. But I honestly plan to be a slam clicker this trip, which is unfortunate because my crew is super cool and they're talking about going out. And I was like, dang, I picked the one trip. Um, that was planning to be a slam clicker to, to all my crew wants to go out. So when flight attendants talk about being a slam clicker, it basically means that they go into their hotel room on their layover, they slam the door, they click the lock, and you do not see them again until band time the next day. So being a slam clicker means you do not go out, you don't do anything on your Lego overs. I used to think people were crazy for slam clicking when I first started being a flight attendant because I was like going to all these cities and like I want to go out and see. And almost two years in, I am becoming more of a slam clicker. But I think that's because there's things that I enjoy doing on my layovers. There's layovers now that I really like, that the hotels I enjoy, that I just want to relax. And so there's some places that I love to go out, especially if I'm in a new place, um, which I am on this trip. I'm actually in a place I've never been to before, crossing off a new state and everything. But the, So I may go out tomorrow to see, but there's like sometimes when you've been to the same place over and over, if you like the hotel and that's all you want, it's not bad to use it as like a, a day of relaxation, right? A little staycation, if you will, that you're getting paid for. Good morning. I am just now getting up. Um, I'm about to get ready. So I definitely planned for this to be a slam clicker trip, obviously. But my crew actually wants to go out, which <laughs> I feel like it's been rare recently. So I'm going to go out just because I... I'm in Louisville, Kentucky, and I've never been here before, and apparently they're very known for bourbon, so I feel like I have to at least buy, like, a little thing of bourbon to bring home with me, um, so I'm gonna do that, probably find, like, a little coffee shop or, like, a quick lunch place or something for some food, so we're gonna go see what we can get into. Okay, so I don't necessarily do a lot of, like, beauty stuff here on my channel, like, that's not really my niche, however... I have to play around with a lot of skin products because my face is super dry. My skin has always been really dry and flying only exasperates that and makes it worse. Like when I started flying, like two years in, I'm still finding stuff. My skin is like still getting better. Um, and this is not like a skincare product as much as it is a makeup product, but the e.l.f. Halo Glow, I'm just gonna put this here for you guys because my skin, like I put this on and then I put like a concealer on, that's all I wear. Like I don't do a full coverage foundation like at the moment. Again, sometimes I'm switching through products, um, but I literally put a little of this on all over my face and then I use the Camo CC Cream. That's it. I wanted to quickly talk about something I got last night, which I will probably, I can show you guys in a little bit. Um, but some of our status holder passengers at my airline, I think it's like the top two levels of status, get a certain amount. I think it's four. Some, I, think I, I think one time somebody told me it was four. Um, but they get a certain amount of like recognition cards every year for employees. So the recognition cards have codes on the back of them and it gives us like points for stuff. But for me, I mean, that's super cool because you can like get stuff from the points. But for me, it's more about the recognition card itself um, because it's really nice because they only get four a year. So when you get one, it's like a big deal. They're in paper and they're really, really nice. And I put them on my shelf at home. But I got one last night from one of my first class passengers and I got one on my last trip too. So I'm kind of like on a roll with these recognition cards. And I don't say that in a braggy way, but like it always makes my day when someone thinks to do that. Because honestly, as a flight attendant, like we get ignored a lot. Like if we were welcoming people and saying, hello, welcome aboard. If I had a dollar for every time someone either just stared at me, didn't speak and kept going or completely ignored that I existed or said trash, <laughs> um, I probably would not have to work. So um, honestly, anytime someone looks at us to say hi back or says thank you on the way out, like that just makes my day, honestly, makes me happy. So when someone takes the time to give me one of those recognition cards, it's really nice because it, they like took the time to do that. And the 
couple, so it was a couple, I think, together that gave me the one last night, but they wrote a note on the back of it for me, and, like, that in and of itself, like, like, we go above and beyond for the passengers, but, like, passengers go above and beyond just doing that for us because it is not obviously required or necessary like if someone tells me thank you and like smiles I'm happy but for someone to take the time to do those recognition cards and like recognize your work and that it like made a difference in their day is really really nice and is why I do what I do so I just wanted to share that I'll show you guys the card in a little bit but it was really nice and I just wanted to share that I've gotten a couple recently and it always makes my day so if you're watching this and you happen to be a status member with my airline and you give those out I am always incredibly appreciative of those and they go on my little like shelf for my airline at home so it is appreciated I also do want to mention because I've had a couple passengers that will give me the recognition card and say I don't really know if this does anything but here um, it actually does so not just the points like that's cool and all but um, whenever we submit those recognition cards, it also goes to our manager and goes on our file. So it does look really good when you have those recognition cards um, because we do have a lot of special assignments um, for in-flight um, employees that we can apply for and that we're able to both fly and do those special assignments. And so when you start or if you want to start applying for special assignments within in-flight in my airline, um, it does look good, I think, to have those on your file. This is honestly any customer service, but just speaking to people who are passengers on an aircraft, if you have a very good experience with a flight attendant, please write in about it. And I know that sometimes it can be like, oh, I don't want to take the time to like write the review or do this. And a lot of people write reviews on bad things and not good. But if you guys do have an experience where someone really, really goes above and beyond for you, like write in about it, email the company, give someone one of those cards, like whatever, whatever it is for whatever airline you fly, because it does really brighten our day. And it also does make it look good. And it goes to our manager and people do hear about it. So um, especially if you write in with a compliment, like it might take a little while, but it does eventually get back to us. So um, it is really nice. So for the people who are like, I don't, I don't want to take the time to do it because it doesn't do anything. It does. So just to reassure, if you guys do have good experiences, especially anywhere in customer service, like please let people know about it because it, it's nice. It's nice to hear back, especially if you did something that, that made you feel really good and then you hear back that it impacted that person as well. It is really nice. So definitely, definitely let us know. because I literally bring one outfit on my layovers usually. Um, we don't have long here. I only have a couple hours this morning, but I am gonna go find a little local coffee shop to sit down, get some coffee and breakfast. And then I have to run to like CVS to pick up a few things before our pickup. So I do have a couple hours, so we're gonna go do that. So let's go. <laughs> Okay, so we're out and about. I had to go pick up some stuff from CVS. Number one, some tights because I go through them. I spend a lot of money on tights, so I stopped wearing them for a while, but now we're back to wearing them. Also, some more hair ties because I'm running on one left. So if I lose it, I need more hair ties. So I was literally trying to get back to my room and I think I got in the wrong elevator and ended up on the rooftop, but it's like super gorgeous up here. So I got a nice view. All right, this is editing Chloe filming a wrap up to this vlog. We had such a good time. Like this trip was so awesome. 
Um, the crew was fantastic. The layovers were good. Like we had a great time. No complaints here. I would definitely do that trip again. I would 100% work with that crew again. Like we, we had a great time. So it was a really good three day. Thank you guys for coming with me on my trip and for tagging along for all the fun adventures that I continue to share here on YouTube. More coming soon. More fun things coming. Um, hopefully some more leisure travel type vlogs are coming soon we'll see so um i hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day or week whenever you're watching this make sure if you are continuing to enjoy the travel lifestyle flight attendant vlogs to go ahead and hit the subscribe button below so you stay updated with all of the new videos um so yeah i hope you guys have a great rest of your day i'll see you guys next time